Ich habe gerade zwei echt coole Typen. I'm having an affair with two cool guys at the moment. They are getting along very well with each other. One is my Cork Volker Sample and the other one is my Sample Robot Volker X. What I'm going to do with both of them, that's what I'd like to show you. I can dump my own samples into my Volker Sample very easily with Sample Robot Volker X. Sample Robot can sample all my hardware gear as well as my instrument plugins and it can import my WAV files and slice them automatically. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm just checking whether sample robot is set to the right output of my audio interface. In the lower section of the graphical user interface, sample robot shows a virtual keyboard with all the dedicated samples. One default sample set is included. You can play the samples by clicking on the virtual keys. But I just want to load my own samples. That's why I'm creating an empty project. In the project section, I click on New. By right-clicking onto the name, I can rename the project, for example to My Samples. All keys are empty and waiting to be filled with the key samples. Volker Sample can hold 100 samples in memory, assigned to the memory locations 0 till 99. During import and recording, Sample Robot assigns samples from the leftmost key to the rightmost. Since all keys are assigned to the dedicated Volker Sample slots, I have to drag the left keyboard range selector so that it opens the hidden slots starting with slot 0. I also drag the right range selector so that I have enough free sample slots for my project. I can read the number of keys in the dedicated display down here. Now I need to select these keys for import. I click on Select All. I can import my samples now. So I go to the Import Export menu and select Import Single Sample Sound Library. On my hard drive, there's a WAV file that contains a few drum samples that I would like to use in my Volker sample. I just browse to the file which is located on my desktop, select it and open it. In my WAV file, there are several drum samples divided by silence. Sample Robot will slice those individual samples and assign them to the selected keys. I just leave the settings as they are and click on Analyze. Sample Robot finds 12 different sounds in this WAV file. I click on OK and that's it. The first 12 keys in my project are now filled with key samples. I can play them by clicking on the virtual keyboard. If I click with the right mouse button onto this key for example, the dedicated key sample will show up in the editor window in the upper right corner. You can see truncating works really well. There's no need for manual editing. Sample Robot can do all this fully automatically. Fantastic! My sample set is ready now. I just need to drag the right keyboard range selector a little to the left so that it is next to my last sample. Now I would like to dump this sample set into my Volker sample. Therefore I need to connect the audio output from my audio interface to the sync input of my Cork Volker. So this is an old school sample transfer. What I need to do next is pretty simple. I just open the Import Export menu and select Export Selected Project as Volker Sample down here. I keep these settings and click on Continue. It will take 2 minutes and 50 seconds to transfer the whole bunch of samples to my Volker. Attention! If my Volker is packed with samples already, I need to free some memory first. By clicking on Clear All, I can do this now. It takes about 10 seconds. Now the memory is empty and ready for new samples. I click on Start to dump my sample set now, which gives me the time for a relaxing 3 minutes coffee break. And how do the samples sound in Volker Sample? Perfect! I just got inspired for a new beat. It's a lot of fun to mess with the samples in real time while the beat is playing.
Dumping samples is one thing. You can also record and loop your own beats with Sample Robot. I would like to record my performance now. Therefore, I create a new project and rename it with a right click to My Loop. Here I select a dedicated input of my audio interface. Of course, I need to connect the headphone output of my Volker sample to this input then. I'm just testing if an audio signal from my Volker is coming in. Therefore, I click on this little red button for a mini peak meter and start the playback on my Volker. You can see that the signal is coming in. I would like to record my beat onto this key. It needs to be selected first. I do this by clicking on it while holding the control key. Since the sampling process is semi-automatic, I deactivate the auto mode here and hit the recording button. Now I start the recording with a countdown. After two seconds, I hit the play button on my Volker sample. And stop. Sample Robot has recorded my beat now. Here you can see the waveform. I click on Keep Recorded Key Sample. I can play the sample again by clicking on the key. To edit the sample and to loop it, just right click on the key. This will open the editor. If you do a lot of sample and loop editing, and if you need a high resolution sample display, you should go for the Sample Robot Volca X plus Wave Robot version. WaveRobot is a sophisticated sample and loop editor that is perfectly integrated in SampleRobot. I have installed the Plus WaveRobot version and now I click on the WaveRobot button. With this editor I have a lot of interesting tools at hand. Like automatic transient recognition, various crossfade loop modes and auto loop searching algorithms. You can do a lot of crazy stuff with a forward-backward loop with two crossfades. That's where the fun starts. With WaveRobot you can get the most out of your samples. Now I would like to use my recorded beat within my favorite sequencer environment. The sample can either be rendered by command clicking on the dedicated key or just by dragging the sample from the predefined project directory. So what can I do with it now? This was quite fun and pretty easy to do with Sample Robot. Looking forward to my next sampling session. Sample Robot Volca X and Sample Robot Volca X plus Wave Robot. Clever instrument creation.